Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're all doing well. Um, so we're Labor Day weekend, so a nice long weekend. And yesterday I got my hair cut. Um, I didn't think about it, I should have vlogged. So apologies for that, but I was due. <laughs> when my hair gets to the length that I can tie it up, I keep pulling it back and I get lazy. So, you know, I had contacted my hairdresser after my last haircut and I was like, I feel like it's not short enough, but I'll keep you posted. And then, um, yeah, what was it? Last week, I think about a week ago, she texts me and like, so I think you need a haircut. And I'm like, yes, please. Um, so cut it right off. Um, so now I can't tie it up. So it's great. So I have to, I have to fix it. I have to diffuse it and it takes five minutes and I'm really happy with it. So yay for my short hair. Um, and then, and then, um, I walked around downtown a little bit. I just wanted to, ah, I wanted to enjoy the, um, the nice weather yesterday because today it's gray and rainy and just sad so I'm glad I got to to spend a lot of time outside yesterday and um I went to Holt Renfu Ogilvy and picked a little something up so I'll share that with you um and I didn't uh, show you but when I went to the hairdressers I picked up a couple products from this brand Oligo um, and apparently it's a Montreal, a Montreal uh, company. So I thought that was very, very cool to shop local. Um, so I'm just gonna show you what I picked up from them. Just a couple of hair products. Any cool. And inside I got this curl bomb. Um, right now I'm using Avida, uh, what is it called? Anyway, the Avita Curl Cream, um, and I really like it, but this is the one she was recommending I should maybe try to start using, and this one is gluten-free, which I really like um, because my skin really reacts to products with gluten in it, so the Curl Balm. And the other product I got is a mask because, so a recovery mask, because my hair is so dry <laughs> lately, um, so again, sans gluten, um, she said, oh, okay, well, because right now I'm using scalp benefit from Avita, and she said, oh, well, maybe just start using a mask as your conditioner, just to give a little bit of a break to the, uh, scalp benefit conditioner, just use the shampoo, and that this should help hydrate my hair a little bit, and then once my hair is back at feeling nice and soft, I can use this, you know, every other wash or something. So, um, it'll, it, it should help. So to be determined, but, um, very excited to use these new products from, um, a Montreal brand. Just realizing I forgot to take <laughs> this off. I, um, uh, I always have it on for the kitties if they decide to come lay in the office. Now, excuse that noise, um, the dishwasher is running, but look, we kind of changed the living room around a little bit and we put this like mantle we found and painted it up and I have all of my, I have some horses and I have my um, willow tree collection there. I'm a huge fan of willow tree. So there you go. And then Okay. See, we have things we have to put up still. We're not done. My little fall decorations are coming out now. So I'm very, I'm very excited. I'm ready for fall. And um, this is a picture that we had gotten in Quebec City a couple years back. And it was on this wall originally. Um, and I had a Buddha here, but um, that my friend painted, but I took it down and put the horses here and I just really like it. So tonight, um, my in-laws are coming over and we're going to dinner at the keg. 
um, in old Montreal. Now, the weather's kind of making me sad a little bit because I was thinking, you know, we'd have a nice dinner and then go walk around old Montreal. But if it's rainy, I think we're going to just come back home here. <laughs> But I'm really excited. It's so fun to go to the Cake Steakhouse. I have not gone there since way before pandemic. Um, and it's a, it's one of the restaurants I feel safest at as a celiac to go eat. They take incredible, incredible good care of me um, or of anyone with a food allergy or specific, you know, um, dietary nutri like uh, limitations so they're they're a great place um and their steaks are amazing so excited for that tonight i'm gonna go make myself a coffee or a latte um and then let's look at what i picked up at holtz because i am excited about it um and yeah be right back Look at these sleepy babies. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi, my boy. Aw. And she's sleeping in the pillows. Hi. Hi, darling. <laughs> Hi. I have to change my, put new sheets on and <laughs> because I know she'll sleep here. I don't leave the bed uncovered in the meantime. Hi, darling. You always look like you're in a cloud. You're the most comfy baby. <gasps> Fine mail. Oh my goodness. I'm going to film this video next because I've been so excited about receiving this. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Yay. Until we went camping 
and I bought that instant coffee because every time we go camping, we struggle making coffee. And then I thought, you know what, this year will just be easy. We'll just boil water, use some instant coffee and it'll do the job for the weekend. And I ended up really, really enjoying it. Um, and it doesn't give me headaches when a lot of different coffees do give me headaches. So win-win, I've been pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty in love with this stuff. And I just add a little bit of my uh, cinnamon dolce latte sweetener and then foam up some milk, a little bit of cinnamon on top. And it makes a very delicious uh, and comforting drink on this dreary day. Okay, I really wanted to take some time to share this uh, just because I want to open it up and use it. Taking all this paper out. Okay. So first I stopped at the Dior and this is Ali, um, Allison Chase's fault. I love her. She's another Montrealer and she talks about makeup and she has the most beautiful makeup application and she gives great reviews. And um, she also has this online consulting service where you have a one-on-one -on -one with her. I'm gonna book a meeting with her because an appointment with her because I love her so much. I think she's awesome. And I need some help with, especially the eye area. I really, really struggle struggle at making a beautiful, beautiful eye. Um, so before I go and buy any eye products, I really, really wanna to talk to her and have her kind of coach me through it. Um, and she, she does that kind of service. So check out her channel, I will link it below. Anyway, and this purchase, this little item or product I got at Dior is completely her fault. She talked about it and I had to go try it. So I picked up the uh, Dior Addict Lip Glow. Now I'm a big fan of Dior, you know, the lip balm, the lip glow, the lip maximizer, lip maximizer I adore. And she said that this lip glow oil is seriously underrated. It's not very talked about, but it's a great product. And I did try it on when I was there. Uh, they let me try it and um, I did really enjoy it. So I got it in the color mahogany. So it's this really like a deep, deep brown, but I think it'll be really nice for in the fall. Let's see. So it's a big, a huge <laughs> doe foot applicator and it's just this gloss, but it gives a kind of your lip but better color. So it's just gonna bring out some of that deep color I have in my lip. I'm gonna try it on in a second. I just wanna open another product I wanna put on first. <laughs> so that's one product I got. And then while I was there, she gave me a couple samples, so she gave me the Dream Skin uh, Cream that you can use as a primer before your makeup but after your moisturizer. So I'm going to try that a couple days uh, and see. And then she gave me the Micro Serum De Rose Azure to try. She gave me La Creme Regeneratrice Dior Prestige. gave me the new Miss Dior Eau de Parfum sample. Um, I didn't like the last Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. It turned weird on me, but we'll see. I really, really love the Dior Blooming Bouquet. Um, I've recently bought the roll-on and I absolutely love it. It's really lovely. Um, not as much for this time of year, I find. Now I'm kind of wanting to go towards more like warm, spicier kind of perfumes, but it's a beautiful spring summer fragrance, I find. And then last, she gave me the Dior Prestige. This is probably what I'm most uh, excited to try the Micro Caviar de Rose. So, this is a really good uh, to use, for example, as a night cream um, or as a mask. So, I am going to try this and I'm excited about it. Okay, and then um, I went to see my one of my favorite 
beauty advisors Henri Pierre. Um, he works at the Chanel counter at Haute Renfrew, um, but he helped me with Hermes. So this is uh, what I wanted to trial on before the lip glow. So I did get another matte lipstick. I got it in the Rose Boisy. Trying to not spread out too much. Okay. I love the Hermes Lipsticks matte formula. I just think it's fabulous. So it comes in this really cute box that you pull, push out kind of like a drawer. This one's really tight. Whew. Okay. With the little dust bag. And this is the color I got. It's called Rose Boisy. And I love the feeling of the matte lipsticks. They're so like light and almost like a mousse. So it's just a deeper color, I think perfect for the fall. Without being a, bro board, a, a bold red, I'm not into red lips, but I don't think they suit me. Um, and then I want to try the lip oil. Oh, I love the feeling of the matte lipsticks at Hermes. They're just so nice. Okay. And then what's this? So nice. So this has that minty taste uh, like the lip maximizer does, but it doesn't have that plumping effect that the lip maximizer does so it just has that same taste but it's not um as i guess intense for your lips so yay i'm happy i'm so excited about these products i've like I'm just gonna go wipe my hands I actually wanted to get a tissue because it was that gloss <laughs> it got on my hands. Okay. And then what I'm most excited about. I got this sample of Twilly d'Hermès au gingembre. Um, again, because in the video that Ali Chase was talking about the Dior lip glow oil, she also talked about this fragrance and how nice it is. And just the way she was describing it really, really spoke to me. So I went to the bay and I went to the Hermès fragrance counter and I asked them for a sample and you know they sprayed it on a cardboard and I just loved it. Um, and I've been wearing it, I've worn it for <laughs> quite a few days and it's just so nice. It's so nice. It's a mix of candied ginger, peony, which is already something that I absolutely love in a fragrance. Um, that's why I love my uh, Dior Blooming Bouquet so much. There's a nice consistent smell of peony in there. And uh, what else is in here? Cedar. So it's a really floral yet a little bit spicy and woodsy uh, fragrance from from Hermes and so I loved it so 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 much that I did co pick up a bottle um, so I got the 50 ml take the plastic off
I am so excited about it. Um, I was going through my fragrances. I don't have that many, but um, I tend to always wear the same ones over and over and over again. But I don't have anything that comes similar to this. So um, they're all very, very floral. Um, so this really, really nice box and wow the inside is a bright pop of orange it's lovely and then inside oh so cute there it is Twilly d'Hermès au gingembre um or old ginger and it has the white cap and it's like wearing a twilly oh it's so cute and then cover oh, just opening it I can like has a nice smell to it it's so beautiful isn't it oh, I'm so excited so there you go and then I picked up another I went to the pharmacy and I picked up another Travelo I'm a huge fan of the original Travelo I've tried other brands they leak I don't recommend them Travelo I've never had a problem with So I'm going to open it up, um, but the idea behind the Travelo is that you pump perfume in it and then you have this as a travel spray for in your purse, um, you'll, it's, it's airplane approved. Okay, this is what it looks like. I went for a little a light pink, the other one I have is gold. So the tra Travelo, um, I get it at the Pharma Prix, they have them. And then you have a little window to see how much fragrance you have left. So I'm gonna take off the cap and there's your spray. And it clicks and it's just super secure and leak proof. So it's very simple. You have this end here that is red. And then when you want to put a fragrance in it, you're going to take this part off Okay, and then you're going to put it there and then you pump um, until you see that in the window that it is full. And then you have a perfume to go. So I love that. Um, it makes it so nice for traveling. So that way I don't have to buy, you know, the travel size. I can go with the regular sized bottles for my fragrances and still have a nice safe travel size um, to have in my purse or you know, bring on a trip with me or on a weekend away. And it's really, really compact. It's so small. It's the size of a lipstick, even slimmer than a lot of lipsticks. So there you go. That was my little haul from Holt Renfu Ogilvy yesterday. Hubby just put up my love uh, above the closet. I thought it looked really cute there. It was originally with all the pictures that were on that wall. And now it's there and I think it looks really nice. So yeah, I'm happy with my new living room setup. Comfy cozy now to do my nails that I've started to chip. So we're gonna put on some of my fun iridescent blue nail polish that I'm obsessed with. So 
yay fun times fun Sunday afternoon after all the chores it's been uh, hectic today <laughs> a lot of chores house cleaning uh, lots of loads of laundry that I was kind of behind on <laughs> And now I'm finally sitting down. I'm gonna just change my nail color because it's starting to chip and then the in-laws should arrive and then, you know, we're gonna go to dinner. We have our reservation at 6.30. Uh, the restaurant actually just called me to confirm to make sure we bring our vaccination passport with us to make sure that we prove that we're fully vaccinated. And, uh, and then we're good. I will let you guys go. And I'll show you later when we get to the restaurant um, my yummy food. I normally always take the same thing when I go there. I go, I get the, um, I think it's called the Oscar. And it's basically the surlange with like some, um, some seafood, like the pétons and all that. Um, and then vegetables and they're delicious potatoes. That's usually what I order, the Oscar. And, um, I mean, I haven't been there in a long time, so who knows if it changed names. I'll let you guys know later. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. So I haven't been munching or eating at all because when we go to the keg, it's very filling. Uh, it's a lot of food and um, you don't want to be, you don't want to have overeaten in your day to go eat at the keg. So, but it's going to make the two men in the group very, very happy. They love their steaks. I mean, I'm, I love it. Uh, doctor says I have to eat red meat, so I eat it. Um, and the keg is a great place to go. So I'll see you guys later. Okay, so I just did my nails with that pretty blue. And it's not perfect, but I love it. I love this blue. It makes me really happy. It's me in a good mood on this dreary rainy day yay oh, only that's, 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 that's,